Today we'll be comparing the Renew Run 2 versus the Zoom Span 4. These are two running shoes that only have a $10 price difference, but today I'll tell you which one is better for you. The Renew Run 2 released at the beginning of 2021 and it retails for 90 US dollars. On the other hand, the Zoom Span 4 released a few months ago at the end of 2021 and it retails for 80 US dollars. Both of these are running shoes, but they provide very different experiences. The shape and overall feeling of the Renew Run 2 is a lot more contoured and curved off, while the one for the Zoom Span 4 is a lot more squared off and symmetrical. The Renew Run 2 is going to have an overall more adjusted feeling to it, especially where the instep and the toe box connect, and it might even take a while for it to feel truly broken in. The Span 4 is a lot more open and relaxed, but in the few weeks that I've been using them though, it feels like they become more loose as you break them in, and I've had to start using all the lace hoops in order to adjust them a bit more. The more relaxed feeling on the Span 4 is also coming primarily from the upper, but while the material feels a little bit more loose, the shoe's also wider and roomy by nature. This is okay for running, but it's a little bit too relaxed for me, as I feel like my foot moves a little bit too much inside the shoe. The more significant difference between the two though, comes from the cushioning featured at the midsole for each shoe. The Renew Run 2 has a dual density midsole, which means you have a softer foam and a slightly more structured foam. The low density foam, which in this colorway is highlighted with this orange, runs within the midsole and right below the bottom of your foot. This creates a very soft underfoot feeling that is simply not present on the Span 4 thanks to its single density foam that is simply more rigid and structured by nature. And this doesn't mean that the midsole for the Span 4 is bad though, as I'd still recommend it if you're looking for a more stable and structured feeling when running or walking. Also, based on what I've researched online, but you should still ask a doctor because I'm no medical professional by any means, this type of midsole should be helpful if you're a heavy runner or you tend to overpronate when running. Overpronate? Overpronate? No, it's overpronate, right? I think so. The extra support at the arch and the stability that this midsole creates are great qualities that are not necessarily present on the Renew Run 2. The Renew Run 2 creates a more soft and cushioned experience thanks to the Renew Foam, but it doesn't feel as stable as the shape of the shoe, midsole, and the pattern on the Renew Foam create this unstable and uneven experience. This feeling on the Renew Run 2 can be helpful for certain exercises while training, but the contoured and curved shape of the shoe can mess with your form and make you feel a bit of discomfort. The Span 4 on the other hand, because of its more stable midsole, feels like it's a lot better for training or even the gym. And because of its flatter and more squared shape, it also seems to make your form more solid and stable. So which one should you get? Well, as usual, it depends a lot on what you're looking for. When it comes to running, you should get the Renew Run 2 if you want a softer, bouncier, more responsive, and more rocking experience when running. Also, if you're like me and you prefer a more adjusted feeling that secures your foot to the shoe but is still comfortable. On the other hand, you should get the Span 4 if you want a more structured and solid feeling at the midsole when running but still feels relaxed and pretty much wide at the upper. For training you should get the Renew Run 2 if you want a softer and slightly bouncier experience but I still wouldn't recommend it as much. I would recommend the Span 4 a little bit more for training or the gym because of the more relaxed fit and the security and stability that the midsole provides. When it comes to wearing the shoes casually though, the Renew Run 2 has an advantage because it has a more aesthetically pleasing design and a wide variety of colorways to choose from. The silhouette is super comfortable because of the dual density foam and it's great for walking or standing for a long time. And the Span 4 isn't terrible to wear casually, but it simply felt underwhelming for me. And also, the lack of colorway options, even after about two months of the shoe being out, doesn't really help its case. It's not the most uncomfortable if you're walking or standing around for a long time, but if you are looking for the more comfortable option out of these two, then the Renew Run 2 is definitely the better choice. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Pablo, out.